In this tutorial, I'm going to show you the best way of how you can create the wall skirtings in Revit. And just before I move to the topic, if you are interested in leveling up your Revit knowledge, we have over 4 hours of free Revit training available on our platform. And you can find the link in the video description. So, in Revit, I have the project file open and I'm just going to create a wall. Let's make that wall to go to the second level. So maybe something like this. Let's make a 3D view. And here I can just turn off those annotation categories so we can see our wall better. And to be able to create a skirting, first of all, you need to create a profile. And to do that, you need to go to File, New and pick a proper family template. So in this case, it's going to be a metric profile. And what you have to do is simply to draw the profile, how, how you would like that to look like. So let's say that I would like to have the skirting, which is 100 millimeters height. Maybe something like this. And for example, maybe I would like to add some, some radius at the end of 5 millimeters. So maybe here. And here, I think this is maybe quite big. I can just move it a little bit, something like this. So this could be one profile. Go here and then for a profile usage, you need to pick wall sweep. Save the family. In this case, I'm not going to save it, but I'm going to remember the name. So that's the family one. And then I'm going to load this into the project. And I will go to the wall, to the wall sweep. And then I'm going to create a new wall sweep type. So then for a profile, you need to pick this family one and simply add it here. So here it comes our profile. But let's say that you would like to have one more profile or the other type. You can anytime go here and make a new profile. And let's say that this one, I would like to be 125 in height. I can just take the arc tool, for example, here. Maybe something like this. And let's just make the radius here at this end. Here, in a family category and parameters, pick the wall sweep as a profile usage. This is family 2 and then load it into the project. And then let's say that I'm going to create one more wall. And let's make this a little bit shorter. So you see it follows the wall. And if I would like to let's say create a new type i can select this one go here go to duplicate and then for the profile i will put the family too so this is family too i can just go here and edit and let's say that you would like to change the profile you simply select it pick first type or the second type and what is very important to know is that let's say if you would like to add the profile here at this part of the wall so how you can do that you need to select your wall sweep then you have here this option modify returns click on this edge and then you see that we got the return and what revit is going to give us is this blue dot so you simply drag it let's say to the middle of the wall and if i select our wall sweep again and go here to create similar and place it on the other side of the wall for example and then select this wall sweep again go to modify uh, returns select this side i can also drag this line here so i can close our wall sweep like this and again if you are not satisfied with a with a profile you can simply go here pick the other type and that's how easy it is to create a wall profiles, actually a wall skirtings in Revit. And if you would like to know how you can create a ceiling shadow gap in Revit and to level up your understanding of the profile usage in Revit, just take a look at this tutorial.